Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to unbox with you the KS900 mouse which does match with the KB900 keyboard. Now I'm going to unbox it alongside you and let you know my first initial thoughts. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot, and you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so let's just go ahead and unbox this mouse. I am currently using the mouse and keyboard combo from my other Dell Premier keyboard and mouse, and I'll link that below, but... This is new and it is so comparable to the Logitech, if you've been watching for a while, the Logitech MX3 that I've been using. So I'll probably compare that video to, um, or compare that mouse to this and just see how it really is versatile. The really crazy thing is this comes with a three year warranty on a mouse. I just think it is wonderful. So again, let's unbox it here with you. And I must say the packaging is really beautiful. Um, they've, they've definitely spent some time on this. I think I love the black um, and it's just very sleek. All right. Oh. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. Like it is, wow. It's so beautiful. And I know it's not about beauty, right? But it is really nice. Again, it comes with the dongle. Let's take a look here rechargeable again a USB-C instructions for use here we go I'm just gonna put that aside wow okay look at my other mouse still just as nice it's different color of course um, let's just take a peek here I believe it's battery as well so that was battery but the new one is rechargeable with type c it is on the lighter side compared to the logitech oh this is my new mouse this is my new mouse wow so again the dongle i'm going to see if i need multiple dongles or i can just link them all does this come off don't want to break it I don't think so Wow Dell has I'm just gonna show you on my hand all right I'm giving this mouse a moment to shine on my desk I think it's absolutely stunning and to be honest there's not one mouse that has been able to knock out the Logitech MX and this one certainly does that I am going to use my armrest there wow very very comfortable i am so impressed to be using this now and feel free to comment below in a month or so and ask me my thoughts i'm gonna plug this in give it a charge and i'm gonna give you a listen to what the buttons sound like just right here Now the scrolling is completely quiet, very seamless. Now I will show you how to connect it on Bluetooth. So you're gonna go ahead and click add device, then Bluetooth. And then what you do need to do, and I will show you right after this, is you're going to need to click the middle button to connect on Bluetooth. So right away, you can see that the Dell mouse does show up. You simply click and your device is ready to go. It is super quick. Um, I'm surprised how quick it is because there's other devices that have not been that quick in the past, but you're ready to go, click done. And then you also have the option to see the battery percentage within this tool. As mentioned, when you are connecting to Bluetooth, you simply hold the middle button down here. You can see the number two is blinking and it's going to stop blinking as soon as your computer has connected the device. See, the little light has stopped blinking and it's turned off. Now, here is the Dell Peripheral Manager. When you are connected, 
you can click more settings and it's going to show you the buttons that you're able to um, map. So I'm going to map these three buttons here. So the forward, you can pick really any option, volume up, volume down, productivity actions. I'm thinking I might do a copy and paste. Uh, volume is interesting, but there are many other options here. You have to really figure out what works for you and what actions you're using on a regular and maybe those will change and that's okay. So you can really pick whatever you want. Options are endless and that is why I really love this software. And right away, you can see at the top right corner, it does say there is an update available and I suggest you do this. There's some firmware updates, even if you have the keyboard and mouse combo. They will ask you to update and you can see here I'm playing around with the buttons already. I've decided to go with a different um, function. So whether that's open file or open folder or paste or zoom in, zoom out, you're really able to change that quickly. And I believe I have to do the update prior to changing some of the mouse settings. They were not available to me when I clicked that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you these options here. Over on the left, you can see again, the device last paired to, and then you can see the mouse settings. So primary mouse button, left or right, and DPI settings. So I believe I have to do that firmware update. All right, so that was my review and unboxing on the new mouse from Dell. I mean, if that is not a keyboard and mouse combo that you wanna be using, I can't convince you. Yes, I do work at Dell, but this is beautiful. Here's the old one. I mean, old, it's, it's still quite new. And here's the new one. If you want that additional ergonomic support, you're gonna get that here. And I love a good ergonomic mouse. So I will be using this. Feel free to comment in about a month if you want more of my opinion on using this. But again, I am so impressed. I love the color. I love how it feels. Again, another, another great product by Dell. And if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Take care.